we have a problem and a solution. The problem is this narrow two-lane section of Crossroads Boulevard under I-25. With the ranch complex, the Harley-Davidson dealership, the auto complex, a church, a large industrial area, and other businesses, traffic often builds up in this area and gets snarled and can cause dangerous situations. I'm Dave Clockman, the Loveland City Engineer. Let's go to a quieter place so we can talk about this a little more. It's much quieter in here. There's plenty of traffic going both straight down crossroads and turning onto I-25. In this view from the east, you can see that even under normal circumstances, someone turning left from either side of the street can cause a bit of a delay to the vehicles behind whenever the turning vehicle has to wait for the cross traffic to clear. Delay causes stress and impatience, and that can cause poor judgment and accidents, including serious injury accidents when a turning vehicle stops abruptly or gets T-boned. The road on both sides of the bridges is already four lanes. That's not the problem. But the roadway under the bridges can't be widened without replacing the bridges. Replacing the narrow bridges on I-25 with wider bridges will cost about 20 to 30 million dollars. That money is not in the state's I-25 budget, either today or for several years in the future. So instead, here's the interim solution. Not new bridges, but new I-25 ramps and a pair of roundabouts. It's not as good as replacing the bridges, but it will cost about a fifth of the money, have far less interruption to traffic, and these changes will remain an integral part of the final solution whenever the bridges themselves get replaced. And we can begin it now. In fact, it is to be one of the shovel-ready projects you've been hearing about as part of the new National Economic Stimulus Plan. Let's take a closer look. Here's a snapshot of the bridges today. Currently, when someone wants to make a left turn onto or from Crossroads Boulevard near the bridges, it can cause traffic to back up. The yellow dots are vehicles seeking to turn left. The situation can become this bad or worse during rush hour or when there's a big event at the ranch, like a show or sporting event at the Budweiser Center, just letting out. Here's an overview photo showing the new ramps and roundabouts. Now here's a graphic and animation showing traffic flow with the new ramps and roundabouts in place. Again, the yellow dots indicate turning vehicles. With roundabouts, there are no stop signs and traffic is far less likely to get backed up. And should there be an accident, it tends to be just a fender bender because of the slow speeds and less severe collision angles. We're confident the ramps and roundabouts will improve safety and minimize backups and snarls caused by cars entering and exiting Crossroads Boulevard and the interstate. The smoother flow will mean less stress for drivers enjoying nearby shops and events, and less accidents too. Smoother, safer traffic flow is always our goal. Thanks for watching.